Good morning, Summer Ridge, and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news here at Summer Ridge High. I'm Sinok Gayalo. And I'm Nick Ruddick. Today's Monday, April 15th. We've got a lot to tell about this morning, but first, today's top story. Some of Summer Ridge's most talented students will be taking the stage this week as part of the BSU Talent Show. WSRH news reporter Katie Orn has more on who will be performing and how you can go to the show. BSU Talent Show is coming up. I'm here with Ms. Wright, the sponsor, to find out more. So, Ms. Wright, when is the talent show? The talent show is this Friday, April 19th, in the auditorium. What time does the talent show start? The talent show starts at 6 p.m., promptly. How, how many acts are there? There are several acts this year, which is super exciting, and I'm very excited to see everyone perform. And how much are tickets? Tickets are $5, so please bring cash. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Kate Norton. The premiere is coming and you're invited. The Seminole Ridge Television Production Academy is pr proud to present our 19th annual Premier Student Video Showcase on May 7th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Why go? It's a cheap date. It's only $10. Plus, you'll get a chance to see our best short films, commercials, public service announcements, vi music videos, feature stories, and more. Tickets will go on sale next week, and you can buy your tickets from any TV production student or Mr. Wright in room 4102. Attention all upperclassmen. This year's prom is coming up soon and tickets are on sale now. Tickets are being sold during both A and B lunch on Thursdays and Fridays. You must have a signed contract to purchase tickets, which are $125 for upperclassmen and $140 for underclassmen and guests. Attention seniors, there will be an informational grad bash meeting on April 17th in the auditorium during third period from 9.45 to 10.30. Only seniors who have paid and have cleared to attend the trip must attend this meeting. Please email Mrs. Vassilotti at christian.vassilotti at palmbeatschools.org if you have any questions. Seniors, are you interested in making more senior memories? RSVP to attend someone Ridge's special senior dinner. There are all posters all around campus with a QR code you can scan, or you can see Mrs. Vassilotti in room 6203 to sign up completely free of cost. The dinner will be held in the cafeteria on Wednesday, May 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Can't wait to see you there. We will have our last Hawk card giveaway Wednesday, April 17th in the cafeteria during both lunches. Student, students must present their Hawk card and ID to receive the special treat that day. Are you interested in taking dual enrollment college algebra on campus next year? Make sure you meet the following requirements. To determine eligibility, you must have a maintained GPA of 3.0 or above, have an SAT score of 490 in both reading, writing, and math, and a PSAT score of 24 in reading and writing and a 24.5 in math. Then you must apply to Palm Beach State College. For more information, contact Mrs. Wallace and join the Google Classroom code HV4XRBS. Equestrian Club is having a meeting Friday, April 19th, right after school in Mr. Roca's room, 6206. If you have any, if you are interested in horses, please join the Google Classroom code 4DDUYH6 and come join the meeting. First Friday will be having a meeting Friday after school in Mr. Moore's room, 913. Come on by for some games, community, and a student-led devotional. Florida, being home with the Gators, we sure do like our Crocs. And what do we do with our Crocs? We bedazzle them. SGA is hosting a Jidbit sale all through next week. WSRH news reporter Bella Savoya has the story. Today I'm here with Mr. Crimmins to talk about the Jibbit sales. So Mr. Crimmins, what are the Jibbits? So Jibbits are those little like attachments you can put on Crocs. So like they're all like various designs. I've seen some like, you know, French fries, like burgers, or you know, like hawks or anything really. When are they on sale? They are on sale next week. Um, we're selling them for one dollar. We might have some like surprise ones in store that we aren't really like telling anybody. And where can you get them? Anyone can find them in the cafeteria. You'll see any kid with SGA shirts on. They're like, I think purple. Um, they'll be walking around to lunch. Um, they'll have them on them and you just pay a dollar and you get one from them. Okay, thank you for taking the time to talk with us for WSRH News. I'm Bella Savoy. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade, Hayden Ernst, nominated by Mrs. Greenhall. 10th grade, Nicholas Piet, nominated by Mrs. Edwards. 11th grade, Roxy Brewer, nominated by Mrs. Ann Pelfrey. And 12th grade, Timothy Nelson, nominated by Mrs. McDonald and Mrs. Bresch. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic excellence, academic improvement, or for their efforts in making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSRA's news, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey bro, you want a hit of this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah dude, it's safe, don't you trust me? Well if you say so. Want a hit of this? 
Isn't that bad for you? Nah, bro, don't you trust me? <laughs> well, if you say so. The chemicals found in jewels and other e-cigarettes contain the same harmful metals like lead that are present in gasoline. Visit www.thetruth.com for more information on the harmful effects of vaping. Hey Sienna, what's it called when it rains chickens and ducks? I don't know what. Foul weather. Let's go to WSRS meteorologist Gavin St. Andrew with today's forecast. Uh, taking a look at today's forecast, we have a high of 82 and a low of 63 with sunny skies. Taking a look at the three-day forecast, on Tuesday we have a high of 83, a low of 66 with partly cloudy skies. On Wednesday, we have a high of 85, a low of 64 with partly cloudy skies. And on Thursday, we have a high of 88 and a low of 66 with partly cloudy skies. For WSH Weather, I'm Gavin St. Andrew. We have a happy birthday going out to Olivia Evans, DeAndre Leslie, Theron Johnson, Johanna Lynn, Flo Jean, Kidian Matson, Caden Dudukadu Gooding, Athuan Nunez O'Connor. Happy birthday! WSH sports anchor Emma Edmondson joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. We have a lot of sports news for you guys today, so let's get right into it. Our varsity baseball team played Garcia High School last Friday. WSH News reporter Haven Barry Hill has more on this story. Today I'm here with Kyle Latham to talk about Friday night's game against Garcia. So Kyle, who pitched in the game against Garcia and how'd they do? Mikey Donald started on the bump for us. He pitched really well to begin the game and um, Chase Gray came in to close the game out for us. Who had some important hits during the game? I know Wayne Coleman had a uh, RBI single um, Luke Vento had a double scoring one run, and Mikey Donalds had a single scoring one run. What was the score? I think it was 8-2. to two. How do you think we're going to do against Dwyer? I think we're going to put up a fight. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a blowout or we're going to blow them out of the water. It's going to be a close game, I think. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSR Sports, I'm Evan Berryhill. Last Friday, our varsity softball team took on Oxbridge Academy and won 10 to six. Our boys lacrosse team played their district tournament game last Friday against Palm Beach Central and unfortunately lost 15 to six. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, there is only a varsity baseball game against Dreyer at home starting at six. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Emma Edmondson. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Nick Ruddick. And I'm Sienna Collado. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Summoner TV. Have a great day, Hawks.